The Christian Institute has told the Prime Minister it is alarmed by the latest threat to prayer from a prominent LGBT activist. The letter to Boris Johnson follows Jane Ozan's demand for gentle, non-coercive prayer that upholds the Bible's teaching on sexual ethics to be included in a ban on so-called conversion therapy. Ozan rebuked fellow pro-ban campaigner Bishop David Walker for offering a concession on such forms of prayer. She claimed that all prayer that seeks to change or suppress someone's innate sexuality or gender identity is deeply damaging and causes immeasurable harm. The Institute told the Prime Minister, the idea that gentle non-coercive prayer should be included in a list of illegal actions is alarming, adding that such a move would violate the human rights of believers. Simon Calvert, Deputy Director for Public Affairs at the Christian Institute, told Transworld Radio that the government should not be swayed by activists' extreme views. I just think most people, Christian or not, don't agree with the idea that the criminal law should be used to decide whether somebody's praying the right kind of prayer or the wrong kind of prayer. But that's where this debate has now got to. And so we are saying to the government, um, you know, if you are going to go down this route, we're not opposed to a ban on conversion therapy in principle, but you mustn't listen to these extremist positions saying that gentle, non-coercive prayer in our churches should be criminalized just for being, you know, failing to sort of endorse LGBT rights.